a Parsha story. Welcome to Parsha Pals. Welcome to Mrs. Smith's second grade class. It was a bustling, buzzing, and exciting week because the science competition was almost here. The seven-year-old children could hardly wait to showcase their skills in the great bridge building adventure. Mrs. Smith divided the class into teams and each team had a very important job to construct a sturdy, strong bridge using lumber, using wood. Timmy was on a team along with his friends Leia, Avi, and Riva. They were thrilled to all work together except there was one little problem that his teammates didn't know about yet. And that problem was with Timmy because when Mrs. Smith assigned each team member to bring in a piece of lumber for their bridge, Timmy was grumbling to himself. I don't want to do the hard work of cutting and carrying heavy pieces of wood. What if I just use something easier like cardboard? Nobody will ever know. And if everybody else on my team uses real wood and I'm the only one who brings in cardboard and I'll make sure it's dark so that it looks just like wood, who will ever know? And so, ignoring his responsibilities of being part of the team, Timmy did exactly what he thought of in his head. He sneaked in a stack of cardboard sheets that looked like lumber. Ha ha ha, this is so much easier, he chuckled to himself. He thought he had outsmarted everybody. The next day in school, the teams were busy at work building. And as Timmy's team started the actual building of their bridge, they followed their plan meticulously, exactly. Leia and Avi worked hard cutting and shaping the real lumber, while Riva focused on securing the pieces together with strong tape. But when it became time for Buchan for his job, that is when disaster struck. First, it wasn't noticeable right away. But as they tested the weight of the bridge, the cardboard began to buckle under pressure to sag down uh -oh. and Leia and Avi and Riva looked at the bridge with horror because they saw it collapse before their very eyes. Figured out what happened. They saw the cardboard and they turned to Timmy with anger and disappointment written all over their faces. I thought the cardboard would be just as good as lumber, Timmy kind of mumbled, trying to defend himself a little bit. But it's not, said his teammates. Timmy, we needed real lumber from everyone to make our bridge strong and sturdy. Their voices were trembling with the frustration that they felt. Timmy felt that sinking feeling in his stomach. You know that feeling when you know you did something wrong and let people down. Now his team had lost the competition because of his mistake. No! I didn't think it would make such a difference, he said, feeling sad and embarrassed. Mrs. Smith stepped in just then and her gentle voice broke the tension that everybody was feeling. 
She said, every person's contribution counts to me, no matter how small. But teamwork means doing your part and supporting your teammates. When everyone does their part, great things can be accomplished. Timmy looked up at his friends and said, I'm sorry, team. I let you down. I'm going to do my best to fix my mistake. I really blew it. And we lost the competition so early on. And it's because of me. Timmy's friends were gracious and decided to give it another try, this time with real lumber. Timmy went home that day and he was determined to turn things around. He worked for hours preparing his lumber. And the next day, he came into school feeling much better. Mrs. Smith gave time for he and his teammates to work together. And they supported one another every step of the way. And when it came time to test their new bridge, it was strong. And it stood tall and proud against the weight and they were able to display it along with the bridges of all of their classmates and the other teams. Even though Timmy's team didn't win the competition, they still emerged as winners in a different kind of way because each of them, especially Timmy, had learned the value of teamwork and responsibility and hard work and perseverance. And these lessons would stay with them long after the competition. As the team celebrated their efforts together, Timmy felt so grateful for his amazing teammates, Avi and Riva and Leia, and for the important lesson that he had learned. This week's parsha, Parashat Ki Tisa, opens with a description of a census, a counting of the Jewish people that took place in the Midbar, in the desert. The Torah teaches us that we don't count the people by saying one, two, three, four, but rather they contribute something and that's what we count. And Hashem said that every Jewish person needed to contribute a half, not a whole, a half shekel coin. And that was how they were going to be counted. Every person, whether they were rich or whether they didn't have a lot of money, had to donate the exact same amount, a half a shekel. And the ones that were collected here were actually used for the base of the Mishkan, for the Adanim. Why did everybody have to give the same amount? And why did everybody give a half a shekel, not a whole shekel? By donating a half a shekel, every Jew was reminded that we're really only a part. We're a half when we're alone, when we're an individual. But when we come together as a nation, when we come together as a group, that is when we are so strong. That is when we can accomplish such great things. When each of us takes our own individual responsibility and realizes that we're dependent on the whole, that the actions that we do really make a difference, that each of us can make a big difference in the world. Ki ti sa, when you count, every person should give and every person counts. And there's a really cool English word called a palindrome. And that is when a word reads the same forward and backward. And when the Torah tells us to contribute this half shekel, it says, 
natenu, and they should give. And that's a palindrome. It reads forward and backward, vinatenu, in the same way. And that reminds us that whatever we give and whenever we give, it's going to come back to us, make us richer, make us better for the giving that we give. It expands us. It makes the world so much better. And it brings goodness to ourselves, to our people, to our nation, and to the world. And the lesson that Timmy learned in the importance of realizing, yeah, it actually does make a difference if I bring in cardboard and everybody else brings in wood. I'm part of a group. I'm responsible. My actions really do make a difference is a lesson that each of us can bring into our lives and realize what a difference we could make, how much goodness we could bring to the world, and how we are part of something much bigger and greater than ourselves. And I hope that our efforts to bring this lesson into our lives will serve as a zechut for our beloved chayalim, and for our brothers and sisters in Israel. Shabbat Shalom.